What's going on guys? Welcome back to this video. Today we're going to compare two popular prominent certifications in the field of cybersecurity. Hack to box CDSA viz Dry Hack Me Sal 1. Let's get started. These two certifications share similarities and differences. They both come from respected training platforms and they are both focused on preparing individuals to become job ready in the field of defensive cybersecurity. However, there might be some differences when it comes to the target audience, the depth of the course material, and of course, the exam cost. Now, my opinion is that Hack the Box CDSA is an intermediate level certification. On the other hand, TH THM Security Analyst Level 1 is more of a beginner level certification. It's for those who are getting started in cybersecurity and wants to develop practical skills in uh, security operations centers domain. Both Hack the Box CDSA and Try Hack Me Sal 1, they are both focusing on practical hands-on experience. However, Hack the Box CDSA covers more advanced subjects such as malware analysis, forensics, uh, more advanced log analysis. On the other hand, Try Hack Me Security Analyst Level 1 does not cover forensics or malware analysis. It focuses on building practical skills in a SOC environment. As you will see in the exam, you will have to work with the uh, SOC simulator where you will receive alerts in real time, identify the positive, true positive or true negative, and then write a case report. So it's safe to say that Hack the Box CDSA might be a little bit more difficult than Try Hack Me Sell One. I mean, especially for those who are getting started or entry-level security analysts. Now, Hack the Box CDSA is actually ideal for those who are already working uh, in cybersecurity or have prior experience as a security analyst, forensic analyst, or even IT administrators. The bottom line is they have prior experience. However, Try Hack Me Security Analyst Level 1 allows you to build practical experience if you are aiming to uh, have a job maybe as a SOC analyst. So in other words, it's ideal for individuals aiming to get into cybersecurity without any prior experience. If you want to get into cybersecurity and build practical knowledge, especially in, uh, particularly in SOC roles, you might be advised to get or to seek uh, Try Hack Me Security Analyst Level 1. But if you have already uh, built some practical experience before and have prior knowledge in the defensive domain of cybersecurity, um, I might advise you to seek Hack the box CDSA if you want to deepen your knowledge in the defensive domain, especially when it comes to malware analysis and uh, forensics. All right, now let's talk about the exam. So in Hack the Box or Hack the Box CDSA exam spans seven days. So the duration is seven days. And at the end, you will be required to write two reports. I advise you to take notes. I mean, notes are very important when you are taking the exam. They take detailed notes throughout every step. Try to uh, finish all the course modules and uh, try to finish all the challenge questions without referring to the hints or explanations. And in Hack the Box CDSA course material, there will be assessments for every module. Try also to finish the assessments so that you'll be well prepared in the exam. Now, Dry Hack Me Security Analyst Level 1 exam lasts up to 24 hours. You can take the exam for 24 hours, but actually, technically, it is five hours. So it has three segments. The first segment is multiple choice questions. The multiple choice questions, uh, there are around um, 80 questions and you have one hour to finish these 80 questions. On the other hand, you have the other four hours are for the SOC simulators. Every SOC simulator scenario is actually two hours long. So in total, you have four hours for the SOC simulators and one hour for the 80 multiple questions. The SOC simulator scenarios dem demand attention to details. You will have to identify and differentiate between true positive alerts and false positive alerts. You will have to classify them and you will have to go through logs and alerts and be able to write reports with all the indicators of compromise, IP addresses, host names. If you want to walk through on uh, SOC simulators, watch my videos on the right, where you will see three videos on uh, Try Hack Me SOC simulators. When it comes to multiple choice questions, then they demand strong understanding of cybersecurity lingo and acronyms, strong understanding of protocols, uh, network protocols, security protocols. So basically try to focus uh, on uh, understanding the rooms in Try Hack Me Peer Security and Try Hack Me Cybersecurity 101. They help you tremendously prepare for, for the 80 multiple choice questions. Again, if you want walkthroughs on these two tracks, watch or click on the two playlists on the right where you will see uh, or you'll be able to access the walkthroughs for these two tracks in Try Hack Me. Now let's talk about the career impact and industry recognition. So basically, remember that HRs and recruiters, I mean, they need some time to catch up with what's going on in the industry. So basically, they may still ask you to have Security Plus. Um, some may insist on CompTIA uh, Cybersecurity Analyst, and some may ask you to have CCD or BTL1. But, but 
I mean, having CDSA or security, THM, Security Analyst Level 1, definitely pay off. I mean, hack the box CDSA, for example, especially when it comes to intermediate roles, it's becoming widely recognized. Again, also, we have Try Hack Me Security Analyst Level 1. I mean, I know it has been released recently, but it will uh, gain track over time, especially the name behind the certification is very well popular among educators and professionals. So my opinion, I mean, my opinion is that CDSA and THM SAL 1, they might not be equal to CISA plus, of course, when it comes to the popularity. I'm only talking about the popularity here, but they will gain track over time. So I would say having CDSA and SAL 1 definitely pays off. Now let's talk about the exam cost. So Try Hack Me Security Analyst Level 1 costs $297, okay, with one free retake if you are a premium subscriber. Now the cost increases if you choose to have training. It will become $349. All right. Now when it comes to Hack the Box CDSA cost, the cost of the exam voucher only is $210. However, this, this does not include the Hack the Box subscri Academy subscription. So may, you might need to pay uh, additional cost to acquire the access to modules but because the voucher stays the same it's 210 dollars all right so the final verdict which one to pursue dhm cell one or hack the box cdsa now there is no definitive answer if you have prior experience in cyber security you want to advance and deepen your knowledge and you want more specialized roles like forensic analysts threat hunter um my opinion seek hack the box cdsa however if you have no prior experience and you still have foundational knowledge in cybersecurity, you want more practical experience, but not that advanced or deep, and you want to land an entry level job, then Try Hack Me Security Analyst Level 1 is the answer. The cool thing about Try Hack Me Security Analyst Level 1 is that it is beginner friendly, at the same time, it is practical. So it allows you to have practical experience, especially in SOC roles, and it doesn't ask you to have prerequisites to prepare you through the modules uh, or through the Try Hack Me tracks is especially pre-security and cybersecurity level one. If you follow these tracks, you'll be able to build foundational knowledge. And then with Try Hack Me SOC level one uh, track, you'll be able to build some foundational knowledge in the security operations center so that you'll be able to succeed in the exam. So my take is, again, if you are getting started, get started with THM security analyst level one, then you might um, seek Hack the Box CDSA, BTL1, CCD, you have multiple options, but if you are getting started, THM Security Analyst Level 1 is the definitive answer. Go for it. So, guys, that was it for today. Thank you for watching.